Now, this is step four in how to solve a Rubik's Cube 4x4, four four. and you should already know how to solve a 3x3, three three. because if you do, you have the centers on the 3x3, three three. you have the center, center, you have the edge, and you have the corners. So this is like this piece right here. This corner is like this corner. And these four pieces here, the center, are like this center here. So now, I would go about making my cross like you would normally do. Making that one. That. That. And you'd go about making your cross. Then, placing your corners. If you don't know how to do this, please watch my 3x3 tutorial. It will teach you how to solve it from here. I'm making kind of a quick thing out of it. So, let me speed this up a bit. The next thing that we will be going over is the parity cases. Right here, we have a parity case. Because on a Rubik's Cube, this case is comparable to turning a piece like that with everything else solved. And this is impossible. So, since there's no way to just flip one piece, this is why it is considered a parity error. Because you have the three here and the three here, but this one is not flipped. So let me put this back. And then the parity for this is as follows. This will flip these two pieces and also uh, do something else to your pieces, to your cube, but it will still leave all your pairs and centers intact. So you b turn both the right layers twice you turn the back layer twice, you turn the upper face twice, you turn the two left layers clockwise, you turn the upper layer twice, you turn the two right layers counterclockwise, you turn the upper face twice, you turn the right two faces clockwise, you turn the upper face twice, you turn the front face twice, you turn the two right layers clockwise, now the front two layers, the front layer twice, sorry, then the two left layers clockwise, and you always have to remember which side is your top and front, and then you do the back twice, you do the right side twice, And I have messed up here. No, I haven't. And now, your pieces should be correct. Now, let me try that again. R, B, U, L, U, R, U, R, U, F, R, F, L, B, R, 2. So now, your two pieces are flipped. So let's do that algorithm again. R two right layers twice. Back twice, up twice, L counterclock, two L's counterclockwise, U twice, the two R's counterclockwise, U twice, the two R's clockwise, U twice, F twice, the two right layers clockwise, the front twice, the two left layers clockwise, the back layer twice, and then the two right layers again two, twice. And so now you have your cross on the top, and you would solve like you normally would to solve the 3x3. Three three. So, the first step is already done, getting all these together. Then, you need to get the corners into their correct spot, um, which is this algorithm.
than that. And, and in this case, it does not lead us to a parity. But I will get us to that parity in just a second. Now here is a parity where this piece is in the correct spot, as you would normally solve for. So is this corner, but these two need to be flipped. And on this cube, the 3x3, three three, that would be the same as doing this, which is impossible to create and to solve. So let me put this back. And let me teach you how to solve this parity with these two pieces. So first, if you know the Friedrich method for the 3x3, three three, you would do the T permutation to switch these two corners. And I will teach and if you don't know, and the T permutation switches these two pieces and these two pieces. Now if you don't know Friedrich, then I will teach you the T permutation right now. So, for the T permutation, you hold the two corners you want to switch on the side. This is your parity case, these two here. And then you do R, U, R prime, U prime, R prime, F. Write twice, U prime, R prime, U prime, R u r prime f prime and now that switched these two corners and it switched these two edge pairs like this so now this is still not solvable because of these two pairs here so now to solve that correctly which is the third and final parity you do the you position the two pairs you want to switch uh, in the front and the back and then you turn the two upper layers twice you turn the two left layers twice then you turn the upper layer twice and then you turn this inside left layer twice you turn the upper layer twice the two left layers twice and then the two upper layers twice and that will switch these two now you have your corner is in the correct spot and now you are clear of all your parodies and you have the, th the corners in the correct spot but flipped and so if you were doing it the normal method that I taught you in my other videos the beginner method you do R prime D prime R D 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 switch R prime D prime R D 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 switch R prime D prime R D 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 orient the top layer and now you have solved the 4x4 Rubik's Cube uh, if you have any questions or comments, please drop me a message, and I will be sure to get back to you as soon as I can. Thanks.